Hey y'all, so today's video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to look again at some animals, but I'm going to give y'all the names in Spanish. So, we're just going to go through, I'll have a list at the end that you can look over. So first, we're going to do cat. So English, cat. In Spanish is el gato. In Spanish, they use the word el or la to have the same function as the in English. So for each one, I'll tell y'all if it's el or la. So again, this is el gato. Next we have dog, which is el perro. And I have some cute pictures of different dogs that I've seen. This guy was on the Galapagos and the next one was also on the Galapagos. So people still have dogs on the Galapagos Islands. Um, and then this guy just was following me around one day. Um, and then we have my friend's border collie who lives out on a farm in Argentina. So again, this is el perro. Next we have chicken, which in Spanish is pollo. Or if you want to say rooster, it's gallo. Or gallina for hen. Or pollito for the baby chicks. There's a really cute song that goes, Los pollitos dicen... Pio, 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 cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, which means the little chicks make the noise pio, 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 so they chirp when they are hungry or when they are cold. The rest of the song goes, la gallina busca el maíz y trigo, les da la comida y les presta abrigo. Bajo sus dos alas se hacen quencitos y hasta el otro día duermen calentitos. So the rest of the song is basically just saying that the mother hen, so gallina, brought them food, el maíz y el trigo. So she gave them the food, les da la comida y les presta abrigo, means she helped them feel warm. So you see in the picture here. She's co covering up her chickens with her, her little chicks with her two alas, so dos alas, two wings. And then they were quiet and warm sleeping until the next day. So next we have duck, which in Spanish is el pato. And what's really funny is we used to actually have two ducks living on our farm and we named one of our ducks pato. So he was a duck named duck. Next we have sheep, which is la oveja. So one thing you'll notice is the V sound and the J sound are a little bit different. So it's oveja for sheep. Next we have rabbit or bunny, which is el conejo. And they're really cute and fluffy. That's really all I have to say about them. <laughs> but again, conejo, bunny, or rabbit. And then la llama or llama, which is the same in Spanish and English because llamas are actually really native to South America, so it's the same name. We just kind of use the same word that they use. Uh, next we have el caballo for horse or los caballos. So um, horses all the times are in groups together, so you may often use the plural way of saying horses, which would be caballos, versus horse, which is just caballo. Um, and one thing you can notice in different countries is the way they pronounce the double L. In Argentina, they pronounce the double L as a sh sound, so it's caballo. Whereas in other countries, um, like Ecuador, they'll say caballo. So it's more of the Y sound versus the sh sound. Next we have pig, or el cerdo. Or if you want to say plural, it'd be los cerdos. So one thing you'll notice between the last two is the way that you make something plural is a lot of times instead of saying el, you'll say los, or instead of la, you'll say las, and then add an s on the end, just how we do things plural in English. Next we have cows, or la vaca, or las vacas, if you want to say plurally. Um, again, the V sound is a little bit different in Spanish where it sounds like a B, Versus a V. Ahora voy a mostrarte unas fotos más de las vacas because I could not pick which ones were cutest. So what I just said was now I'm just going to show you some more pictures because, again, cannot decide which ones to take out.
Next we have the toad or el sapo. Um, toads and frogs are different and so there's different words in Spanish and English um, for them because as you can tell from this picture to this picture of la rana or the frog, they're very different in their body structures and uh, how they look. So you have very wide range of frog types and toad types. So la rana is frog and el sapo is toad. And now that's all that I have for today. So I have a list here of all the animals that I showed you today. You can pause, print, draw these animals along the different names so that you can kind of connect which animals go with which Spanish word. And I hope y'all learned something new today.